Okay, guys, say I love Harley riders. <laughs> yes, it louder. There you go, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding, Harley riders. You know we love you too. My absolute favorite part is leaving all the Harleys in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to another edition of One Take Sunday. This is the views from the campsite at Whitney Portal. We're, we're basically hanging off a cliff. Well, I'm being a little dramatic, but it feels like you're kind of just hanging off the cliff because it just goes straight up. Last night here. Hey, hit that like and subscribe button, please. Thank you for all the views we've been getting on the Alabama Hills episode. Guess that's a popular place for YouTube. Awesome. So we're kicking butt. This trip is kicking butt. Let's get on the road. Oh my gosh, day four. Coming down Whitney Portal for the last time. Absolutely gorgeous. And just look at this. What a crazy day yesterday, too. That was phenomenal. A lot of dirt. Dropped my bike a couple times. That wasn't fun, but it is what it is. And look at this. Day four. Don't even know what the destination is tonight. So past Brian. I wish you were better prepared, buddy. In the future, let's do this. We got a YouTube channel to do. All right. Okay, people. So let let present narrator Brian fill you in on the day of day four. Now, before I do that, if you haven't seen Alabama Hills Road and the Bristle Pine Forest episode, watch it. Best episode I've done today, but this could beat it. Not sure. Not doing dirt today. We're doing mostly 395 and we're going to do 120. We're going to do Tioga Pass. We're going to go up through Yosemite. We're eventually going to head into Diamond Oak Campground outside Groveland, which is going to be awesome for the fourth night. We also have a fantastic dinner. You do not want to miss this dinner up in Groveland by Yosemite. And speaking of food, this is where we have been eating for the past couple of days a lot. Food looks good. Eric was so hungry, the food just came and he just, just <laughs> ate it. <laughs> Eric, how did you, how did you eat that so fast? <laughs> I always eat that. Eric got there an hour earlier for reasons that will be left out of this video. They were asked to stay out, so they will stay out. People at the table are not exactly all happy right now and probably wasn't an appropriate time to film here, but I do it for you. So show some freaking love and interact with this video so the channel can get into YouTube's algorithm magic and show up. I have not been sleeping well the past couple of nights. Why you may ask? Because the first night, somebody woke up in the middle of the night, jumped out of their tent and said that they thought they saw a bear ever since that night. I have thought I have heard a bear every single night. And it's crazy because all my years of backpacking and, you know, even recently doing these camping videos and stuff, I welcome to see a bear because usually they are majestic sights and just aren't going to hurt anybody if you don't mess with them. If you Google bear attacks while camping at 345 in the morning, you're not going to have a good day the next day. So we all put on our pretty faces as we leave Lone Pine and get to this sandwich shop in Bishop. What happened to you, Bob? Well, it happened to Eric. <laughs> Do you guys sell insulin here too? <laughs> Place reminds me of Tom Lynch, like San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Is, is that place good? No, it's fantastic. It's fantastic? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you think this place would be better than that place? Oh, I'm sure it is. We'll find yeah. out. 
we leave Eric's Deli, start our very long, very hot journey to and up to Yoga Pass. We're at the top in Yosemite. We plan to eat our sandwiches, looking out and adoring the beauty that is Half Dome. The beauty that is Yosemite. get to Tioga, we finally leave the vast desert heat that 395 brings with it. The desolate views turn into views like this. These gorgeous, gorgeous views. And this, people, is why I travel 50% road and 50% dirt. There are desolate paved roads for a reason, and this is it. As we pass by this lake, I can't explain it. I'm immediately drawn to it as we go up to the top of Tioga Pass. It's just a very, very weird sensation that I have while we are going up there. And look at the beauty of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. As we approach the gate to get through Yosemite, however, we get stopped and told to turn around. It turns out we needed reservations and nobody knew it because this is a new thing that they put into place. And this is not the plan. This is not Haftum. This is not where we are supposed to eat our next meal. What's up? We have to wait till 4 o'clock. 4? Yeah. You want to go to the lake? Good shirt. You want to go to the lake? The lake? Yeah. Yeah. The lake. You want to go to the lake? Yeah. Yeah. While extremely frustrating to have our plans halted, we are turned around to where we were meant to go to. I've never heard of anything so fucking stupid in my life. Oh, look at this. It's awesome, though. What? Look at this, though. We get to hang out here. Yeah, but I mean, it's just fucking ridiculous. What difference does it make if it's 1 o'clock or fucking 4 o'clock? I hear you, bet. There's no traffic. There's no wait. There's no backup. They have no fucking... There probably Leadership. will be at 4 o'clock. What? There probably will be at 4 o'clock. Exactly. So we're going to be the first ones in line. We're going to be sitting there blocking the fucking road till 4 o'clock. Until then, they'll look at where we get to hang out at. What's that? Until then, they'll look at where we get to hang out I at. I want to have my sandwich. This is beautiful. Well, then I knew. That's why I said. We'll this just go gorgeous. back to the campground and hang out. Yeah. I'm going to get in the water, too. Okay. Oh. I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go. Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life, hit me with it right now, in it. Hey guys, say I love Harley Riders. And I won't yes, go back, back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the bad shit, I do Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go. Nothing matters when we're way out here, oh, I, I, oh, I, Ready, right, count together? So we go. We're going in on three. three. We, we, are you on the one, two, three? We're going on three. So one, two, three. three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's uh, refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Feeling much better about two hours ago. <laughs> I think it's comparable to Blue Lakes. I might have gone in all my gear. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. The water's nice. It's a little cold, but... There's a little warm spot right here. And I won't look back, yeah. I don't care about the best shit. The nerves in the way now. Oh, I, I, oh, I, Baby, I don't have to know your real name. I'm just addicted to... In Yosemite, that was such a gorgeous layover. I'm like, I'm really glad the park 
made us wait to get in, to be honest. Just epic. Oh, well. Freaking Yosemite. So, the last time I was in Yosemite, not that people are going to care about my life, but uh, it was a Yos uh, in Yosemite when I was 14 years old. And uh, got strep throat here. That strep throat somehow a version of streptococcus settled into my kidneys. My kidney shut down. And uh, I'm lucky I got to the height I, I am because uh, I stopped growing at 14 years old. And uh, it's on dialysis, didn't need a transplant, it's a miracle. I was on a lot of steroids and on chemotherapy, which is crazy. It's my first time back since then. Oh, oh, do I sit by myself? As the quiet for hell. Just I've done a lot of healing, a lot of scarring, a lot of battles. A lot of healing. <laughs> That's some good food, man. Wow. I'm Pete, the FNG. <laughs> I'm not sure when I lose that title, if it is the beginning of the next ride or the end of this one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. So even in the next one, I could still be the FMG? Yeah. Okay, I'll just keep riding. Um, so I got two favorite moments. The first was our walk through the giant sequoias. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. That was that morning, amazing. That morning, it was beautiful light. It wasn't too warm and it was just really peaceful. It was, it was peaceful. Um, and then favorite moment on the bike was definitely Bristol Pine. Oh, the ride you got to do. I'm Eric, I'm another FNG. <laughs> <laughs> By recommendation of Tom though. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tom Wise, you know that now. Um, but, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> My favorite, so my, my favorite part of this, I think, was discovering Sherman Pass because I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, and, yes, uh, that yeah, is a that beautiful was good. road mm -hmm. and uh, has just amazing views, especially on the downside. side. Absolutely. Um, so, thanks to Richard for making this, yeah, let us discover that. That's beautiful. So I'm Bob, and he's the leader, but I'm the tag along. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's great to ride with such great riders, and I've always learned so much. Uh, I can't think of really, you know, I think one of the best parts was just before we landed in camp, when we were just cruising on down that, that road, uh, that yeah, was yeah, so yeah. much fun. Yeah. Yeah, just busting it through uh, kind of some crappy asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> but after, after the heat, the jump in the, through your in the lake, you yeah. take in Lake Tioga. Man. I'm Richard. Oh, Richard, come on, brother. Oh, man, Richard. Oh, man, I love these guys. If you have a fucking problem with it, I'll kick your ass. These guys are some of the toughest, smartest, ruggedest individuals I've ever had the pleasure to ride with. Riding with this group is not for wimps. This group has seen them. They don't ride with us anymore. We still haven't gotten to my favorite part of the trip. You want to know why? Because it hasn't happened yet. Stay tuned for the series finale, released next. <laughs>